Take your light green clay and flatten it out. Sketch on the pea shooter head and cut out. Smooth the edges up to your liking. Take your dotting tool and carve in his mouth. Roll out a tiny snake and roll around the edges of the mouth and blend them in. Use your dotting tool to add eye sockets and then add tiny bits of black clay to make the eyes. To make his leaf, roll out a ball of green clay and form a teardrop and bend slightly down on the pointy end to give the curve then attach to the back of the head To make the pot, roll out a ball of brown clay, slightly football shaped, and cut a small piece from the one end to form the bottom, and a bit more off the other end to form the top. If you need to, you can smooth out the ends and give the pot a bit more shape if you choose so. Take the dotting tool and carve a divot for the leaves to sit in later. Cut out a thin long strip of tan clay and wrap around the top of the pot. Cut off the extra length and blend the edges. Roll out a very thin tiny snake and wrap around the bottom. Cut off the extra and blend edges.
To make the leaves, roll out a small ball of green clay and form a teardrop. Flatten it a bit and slightly pull to make the leaf longer while bending to form the leaf shape. Take your needle tool and add the vein detail, then attach to the top of the pot. I made four, but you can add as many or as few as you like. Take an eye pen and add on small glass beads to make a stem. Leave room to stick half the pen into the pot. Next, take brown clay and form into a kind of oval-shaped ball to form the face of the sunflower. Flatten it down to the shape you want. Take small yellow balls of clay and squish them between your fingers and attach the back to the face to make the petals. Take two small pieces of black clay to form the eyes and place them mid-top. Bake all pieces according to your clay manufacturer's instructions. Take black paint and paint on his smile.
Take white paint and paint on the eye shine on the sunflower and the pea shooter. Next, paint his tongue red. Take the earring back and attach wire through the hoops to form a loop so you can attach the stem by the top of the eye pin. It may look something like this. Glue the earring post to the backs of the faces, let the glue dry 24 hours, then you may wear your new earrings. I hope you enjoy making your own plant earrings.